Alright guys, um, hopefully you watched uh, the first part of um, the Low Kick series. Um, I might have shot something like this, a video like this, uh, maybe a year ago, six months ago. But um, these are good fundamentals, so I'd like to shoot them again. And sometimes I expound on um, different type of truth or concept that I might have left out in other videos. But um, so with this one, what we're going to do now is, uh, so if you're not in shape, like let's just say you're really in shape, but you're not as skilled, it's always always be on the offensive. It's always easier to be the guy attacking. Okay. Now, but you can't do that all the time because if both guys are in shape and both guys attack, you're gonna you're gonna hit a low block with like two rhino or two uh, mountain goat or two you know animals just going at each other. It's a stalemate. So the next type of things you need to do is if, if both guys are in stalemate and you hold that stalemate position too long, then it's very tiring. So you need to learn not to hold stalemate position too long or not get into the position of stalemate. Avoid it if you can. So the next type of uh, drill is we need to go counter attacking. Okay, so the hardest, so here's the progression. The progression is offensive maneuver is always easier than counter attacking. Okay, and the last type of movement is defending and attacking at the same time. That's the toughest type of doing it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is our partner's going to feed us. So he might throw a cross, then I kick him. Or he might throw a jab and I kick him. Or he might throw a jab cross and I kick him. Okay, so um, what I mean is this. So let's just say he throws uh, a jab. And when he throws a jab, if he does it properly, go ahead and throws a jab. He's putting weight on this front foot, okay? Or he steps in. When he does that, I got to I got to acknowledge this. So I can choose to acknowledge it by putting physical barrier in front of him. But when I put physical barrier in front of him, my weight goes from my shoulder to in front of my toe, okay? But forces are coming toward me. So what we do is we go backward a little bit, open up a hip. By going this way and throwing a kick. Go ahead. Boom. Okay, so what we do is we swipe, and this hand comes here high just in case he throws an overhand bomb. Okay, so throw the overhand bomb. Boom, I'm okay. Okay, so I might go to this and he throws an overhand bomb. Okay, go ahead. Boom, boom. Okay, if he doesn't throw the overhand bomb, I might check him. Go ahead. Boom, boom. So I move out and check. Okay, so one more time. So he throws that jab, shoom, that's how fast it goes. Okay, so every time he throws that jab, shoom, and he's like, what the hell, you know, and you just do it over and over again. And if he's just a boxer or some guy who thinks he wants to fight, if he throws a jab, shoom, like that. And imagine doing that shit, and he's like, what the hell, like this guy's like, Speedy Gonzala, he just comes up and boom, okay. And so watch that maneuver again. You don't want to use your uh, physical barrier, think of these as physical barrier and shifting your weight in front of your toe because now this foot feels like it's in quicksand therefore you can't move and go ahead try to punch me it'll still come in and, and smash me okay so look at how you're moving so very important we're moving back with him go for a punch we're moving back with him but the problem is if we move back and we throw a kick we'll miss so we need to be tricky we need to move back just enough but preferably a little bit out of the way and throw the kick. Go ahead. Okay, now we still got him, but what if I'm short? So we need to slow that down. Go ahead. So we slow it down a little bit. So now, maximum reach, we minimize the reach by maybe 10%. Now I don't have to move as far back, and I throw my low kick. And if you combine those three elements, your chance of counterattacking is very high. Now, if you have long reach and crap, like if you're twice, like 30% taller than the guy, you don't have to do everything I'm teaching you. I have to do everything I'm teaching you because I'm short, okay? So let's analyze this again. He throws the jab, we have to move the head. He throws the jab, we have to angle a little bit out. He throws the jab, we have to slow his reach, uh, um, minimize his reach. And if you combine those elements, you can counter. Okay, go ahead. Boom, like that, okay? And once again, we're going to turn our hip, okay? And we talk about the head. High guard, because he might throw an overhand bomb. It's a real street fight, pure aggression. Go ahead. Boom. I'm okay. All right. So it's like, boom, boom, like that. Okay. So that's what you need to do. So last one. Okay. Boom. Okay. And so you can work off the jab. Why don't we practice that a little bit, and we'll work off the cross, and we'll work it together. Is that cool? All right. Push. Push.